Hey, a friend, Chris here from WideLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Today, I am so stoked to share with you the latest version of an application that has completely transformed working in Logic Pro. That is version four of the application plug search by the developer SpeakerFood. SpeakerFood has released several tools specifically for Logic Pro users. Prior to plug search, anytime you want to load a plugin or an instrument plugin or a MIDI effect, you were forced to dive through menu after menu. Diving through plugin menus, and especially when it came to third party plugins, you could have menus that were quite long. So, you know, I walked into this menu knowing the plugin that I wanted to use. But now, as I look through this list, I, I kind of forgot what I was even looking for to begin with. But with Plug Search, SpeakerFood created an application that allows you to skip the menu diving and just type in the plugin that you were thinking of, allowing you to instantly load it. Whether it's an audio effect, instrument plugin, or MIDI effect, the workflow is as simple as can be. When the application is running in the background and Logic Pro is open, you just hover your mouse over a plugin slot, then press the control key on your Mac's keyboard. The menu for plug search pops up, and from here you can either use the arrow keys on your Mac's keyboard to navigate through the different plugin options, or just type in the name of a plugin you're thinking of or a category of plugin that you're thinking of. From here, I can see all the compressors available to me on my system, and I could just hit return to load this compressor plugin in this audio effects slot. All right, so I've replaced the console EQ with the compressor. You can also remove a plugin just by hovering your mouse over that plugin and then just pressing the command key. And again, the same applies to software instruments. So I press control to load up the instrument dropdown. I can load perhaps alchemy as well as MIDI effects. And now I can just get right to it. And again, plug search just runs in the background on your Mac. All you have to do is open the application and just leave it. And when you open Logic Pro, this workflow is immediately accessible to you using these modifier keys. But with version four of plug search, it's kind of criminal to even call it plug search anymore because this application does so much more now than just load plugins on the channel strips. The first new feature of plug search four is that you can now search and load input, output, send and sidechain assignments exactly the same way that you would load a plugin with the app. So if I hover my mouse over the input for this audio track and press control, now there's a menu to choose between the different inputs of my audio interface or the various buses. And I can scroll through right within the menu. If I press control, I'm tabbed to a new page that shows me just the inputs of my audio interface. If I press control again, I'll see only buses in Logic Pro. So. Maybe I want to load inputs five and six. And the assignment is complete. Again, I can press command to remove that assignment. If I go to the outputs and press control. Now I see all of the outputs available. Once again, I can press control to see just the outputs and the pan modes for the stereo channel strip and all the buses available to me as well. Plus all destinations are listed, which is really helpful. So maybe no output. All right, let me undo. Then there are send assignments. When I press control, a menu pops up showing all the buses and any tracks assigned to that bus. When I press control, I see all of the sends that are in use in my project. And if I press control, I see a tab of all the buses that are not currently in use. All right, so maybe even though I have a reverb already on this track, I wanna send in my vocal reverb and press return. All right, the assignment is complete and I can start to send more and more of this special effect to my vocal reverb. Hover your mouse and press control to send a new assignment for the send field or just press command to remove that send assignment. If I go to the 808 here and load the compressor, just hover my mouse over the side chain and press control. All right, now I can type in kick then choose one of my drum machine designer kicks as the side chain input for this 808. Chasing the chime at 12 times eight. Roll out, like an undertaker. Dead stop, as a bass maker. Smoke now. Right, it was that simple. And again, I can set the assignment back to the original internal just by hovering my mouse over the side chain input and press command. As you can see, these are all automations the app is conducting on your behalf to save you time. And for those of us who are using a lot of articulation sets, if you go to the track inspector 
down to articulation set and press control, you can quickly hunt down that articulation set that you want to use. The second new feature of Plug Search 4 is that you can actually apply these auxiliary channel strip names that your buses are being sent to, to the Mix.io labels in Logic Pro. So you know those labels, if you go up to the top menu bar, go to Mix, down to the IO labels, and these are the names that you can apply to all of the inputs and outputs of your audio device, as well as any names that you want to apply to your buses. With Plug Search, you can do this automatically. You don't have to type in individual names and set them to user. Instead, you can have Plug Search do it for you. So by hovering my mouse over a current bus assignment, pressing control, of course, we get this drop down for bus assignments that we can load. But right up here in the upper right hand corner is a tray icon. And when you click on it, you can export the track names to the IO labels in Logic Pro. Of course, Plug Search needs to double check. Are you sure that you want to apply these bus track names to the bus IO labels? Yeah, of course. We can see a process is occurring right here. The labels are being applied. And booyah, you can see right here. Vox verb, Vox verb. This says aux 44 because I didn't change the name over here of this aux. That's A-OK. -okay. But you can see for inputs, sends right here within track stacks. If I expand some of these, you can see all of these labels have been applied across the entire project. But for those who are very familiar with the Mix.io labels in Logic Pro, you know that these are set on a global basis. You cannot save Mix.io labels on a per project basis until the release of Plug Search 4. Now for my project, I have this completely customized labeling system that is specific really to this project. Of course, I'll need to reset this for the next project, but if we go up to Plug Search at the top menu bar and click on the icon and go down to IO Labels, right here is a brand new IO Label Manager with which you can save different IO Label presets that you can load back into Logic Pro. As you can see, I've set my own mixing template as a preset if we move down to some of the buses, you can see drums, percussion, bass, rhythm, guitar. These will be applied to the IO labels when I click apply. But instead, I'm going to go to the plus button right here to add a whole new set of labels, which I'll call roll out. And take a look. Going down to the buses. All right, drum machine designer, reverbs vocals, 808, and so much more. Now, again, I can apply this to a brand new project. I can change these IO labels as I see fit on a project per project basis, and you can save a variety of presets that match different circumstances, different workflows, and different setups. The fourth update to Plug Search 4 is that there is now Track Search. All you have to do is hover your mouse over a track and press Control. With that is a brand new menu with which to select and locate a track in your project which obviously proves especially helpful if you have tons of tracks in your project and you don't want to have to scroll up and down the tracks area just to find that one track you're thinking of. So if I type in 808, there it is. Press return. My chosen track is selected and the view is updated, which by the way, this list of tracks is created dynamically each and every time that you open it. So for example, you don't see a SoCal kit in my project, but if I load a new drummer track into the project, and let me press control. You can see SoCal right there. There you go. So simple to find tracks in your project without a hitch. The fifth new feature of Plug Search is the introduction of control grids. Again, if you go up to the menu bar at the top, then click on Plug Search and go down to control grids. This is pretty crazy. You can actually set up a hardware MIDI controller or the MetaGrid app or a stream deck to automatically load plugins using MIDI CC assignments. In this case, I have a completely empty control grid. You can see that the title is plugin launch, but I can double click and make my adjustments. I can click over here in the left hand pane to adjust the CC assignment as well as the MIDI channel. And I can even set my input device. In this case will be my Novation launch pad. All right, so from here, I can just start dragging plugins onto these different tabs. Maybe clip distortion, sample alchemy, maybe Beat Breaker. Right, from here, I could either select one of my tracks and either trigger from the control grid of Plug Search or load Beat Breaker. 
beautiful. But I can also do this using my controller. Let me just find some of the MIDI effects. There we go, maybe chord trigger. And these can be swapped around as well. Just make sure to turn off trigger. And right here, I could swap the compressor for a different tab, move them around. But check it out, I'll close the controller view. Then I'll just press on a button on my launch pad for the SoCal kit. And now I've loaded the clip distortion right for my controller. For those who have been using Plug Search for a while, you may be familiar with a particular quirk of the application, which has been updated with version four. If I go up to Plug Search and go to Plugins, you may know that Plug Search has a database of over 10,000 plugins, and it categorizes these plugins based on obviously different categories. That includes manufacturer and plugin types. But in version four, you can defeat or change the automatic categorization just by using the category dropdowns on the right-hand side. So in this case, perhaps I don't want alchemy to be considered a synth, but maybe sound design. If we go back to Logic Pro, I'll press control to tab over to the category section. And if I go down to sound design, there's alchemy right there. So for plugins that lack a category altogether, you can assign it. Just select your plugin, go to the categories dropdown and apply your chosen categories of which you have up to three. Lastly, for Plug Search version four, which honestly is not lastly at all, there's so much that's changed about the application. But the last thing I'll share with you in this video is that you can actually apply plugin notes as well. Right within this plugin menu, so I can type in Atmos for this Atmos type of plugin. But also if I select a plugin, by pressing on the right key on my Mac's keyboard, I can add notes right within this view as well. And of course, Plug Search provides plenty of other options to Google search about this plugin, find any YouTube videos, and go to the manufacturer website. Obviously, you can see Plug Search has been dramatically improved for Logic Pro users. The pricing for Plug Search 4 continues to be $30 US. If you're a user who purchased version 3 after January 1st of this year, 2024, you get the update completely free. And for users who have owned the application prior to January 1st, 2024, it's only $10 USD to upgrade. I mean, even at full price, 30 USD, Plug Search is going to transform the way you work in Logic Pro. Lastly, a general note for those of us who are working on Mac OS Sonoma and above, Apple has updated the engine behind the menu layouts in Mac OS Sonoma, and this affects all applications that act on menus, including Plug Search. So SpeakerFood did have to redesign the way that plugins are being selected with the application, which can cause it to be a tiny bit slower on systems running Mac OS Sonoma and above. Earlier versions of macOS are completely unaffected. Either way, Plug Search version 4 is awesome. So be sure to check out the links in the description below, which will take you right to Speaker Foods' website if you want to try out this latest version of Plug Search. Thanks so much. I'm Chris from Wide Logic Per Rules, the website and YouTube channel. Take care.